and welcome back to another video this is crypto coins and if you are invested in notes and you need a notes portfolio tracker i created a master multi-tab notes portfolio tracker that calculates everything you need to know about all your positions and it's all being generated by the tabs at the bottom with the totals page most of this is automated or your convenience there's only a few different things you need to put in here and the rest will automate now if you've been following my channel i made a universal notes calculator which is included with this one i will leave a link under the description of this video for you to see how this calculator works you can also click here if you get a copy of this and it'll send you to the video how to use this so we'll go over this one towards the end of the video. Let's get started how this works. At the bottom here, you have a master sheet and a total sheet. I will leave the Thor and the power node positions open here as references, but you can later delete this. Here in the master sheet, you will put the information necessary, necessary for you to be able to track your positions. So the very first thing you wanna do when you get this calculator is go here to file, make a copy and make a copy for yourself for you to be able to configure the sheet. This only works with Google Sheets since it pulls live quotes. And we read at the top, blue equals input. You can only put information in the blue squares. So that is here, 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 and here, and here. Now, if we scroll to the bottom, uh, you see here in pale yellow, this is separate from the main spreadsheet. Here, you can do some quick calculations, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and percentages for you to calculate your taxes. And I also have a quick node payoff date forecaster for one node. I'll show you how this works towards the end of the video. And if we scroll to the right, this is where you put the information of your collected rewards. And that is all that is necessary for each individual sheet. So what you wanna do is go to the master sheet click here and duplicate the master sheet. Once you duplicate the master sheet, I will swing this over to the left of the totals page here and name this sheet and start inputting information. You double click it here and you type in here the name of the node. They just call it Phoenix. For example, here you press enter and then you start filling out the information. Now I'm going to delete this one since I already have the Thor one already made and we can go over the Thor uh, spreadsheet here. So let's assume we just created this Thor tab down here. This is the necessary information for the calculator to work. Let's start off at the top. Let's zoom in here. Up here, you put the name of the project, Thor Financial, the token name here, Thor. Here, let's do this capital here and the price the way we get the price for the token is through coin market cap let's go to coin market cap let's go to search and search for thor once we're here we click here it brings us to this page and we select the url that is up here double click it do a copy of the url come back to the calculator and up here between these two quotes you put the cursor there right in the middle and you do a right click paste and then you press enter and it will now calculate the price of Thor live quote. Here is a start date of your position. This is being generated by your first position. So you don't have to type it in here. And this is today's date and time. This is also automated. You don't have to update this. If for any reason you need help on how to use this calculator, here will be the reference link to this video for you to come back to it if you ever get lost when working with these spreadsheets. Now, the very first things we want to do here is skip all this total breakdown, even though there's a blue cell here. We want to skip that for now. We come down here to the node positions. Here you start typing in every time you buy a new node. For this instance, let's just say we buy Hamdell. You type it in here. Hamdell. Let's just say we bought two. You type in two. You type in the date. Let's just say we bought it February 4th. And both of these notes, let's just say it cost us a total of $290 for the position. Here we need to put 
the tokens per node for one hem down. I know we have two here. You don't have to do the multiplication. You just have to put what it takes to buy one node. How many Thor tokens it takes to buy one node of hem down? How many rewards you earn per day for one hem down? So you just put the single figure here, no matter how many you buy. And after that, the calculator will calculate the rest of your position. It shows you the current value of your node based on the current price. It shows you how many tokens you're invested. It shows you your average cost per node. It shows you the return on your investment date from the moment you bought this node to when you're supposed to recoup the sunk cost of this node, the rewards per day, the rewards per day in dollar amount, the rewards per week in dollar amount, rewards per month, dollar amount, and rewards per year, dollar amount. And as you type in here, more cells, this will start populating. Now the calculator is very precise and there's a lot of information being read with the different cells here and the different tabs. If you need to add more rows here, do not add rows. You need to select this section here and move it lower and then copy this and then you can go here and go down and add another row here if you need to add more positions. Now let's undo that. Do not add any columns or rows. It will shift the calculations since it's also pulling information from the collected rewards section. So just something to be aware of. Another thing that I forgot to mention while I was recording this video is that if you do add more rows to your positions, you're going to have to go to the total breakdown and look at the formulas to make sure that you include those rows. So the total breakdown is generating information from that table below. So you're going to have to go in the cells and make sure you update those rows. Once you input all the different positions you want here, then it gives you your total breakdown up here. Let's zoom in to see how that looks. It tells you how many nodes you're invested. Total tokens invested, 3.75. How much you invested, $358.75 for these three nodes. And here you have to manually put how many unclaimed tokens you currently have in the app. So you come in here and you type in how many tokens you have, and then it'll calculate the value of those tokens. Here it shows you how much you invested and your current position value. Here it also uh, calculates how many rewards you've collected when you collect your rewards and the total fees you've paid. And it shows you a breakdown of your total profits percentage wise and your total profits dollar amount. It gives you everything you need per your positions. And here it breaks it down how much you're earning per day, dollar amount, how much you're earning per week, dollar amount, total from all your notes in this Thor financial position, how many rewards you're making per month and the dollar amount, how many rewards you're making per year and the dollar amount and your total return on investment date from all your notes is summarized here. And according to these two positions here, three notes, your return on investment date is July 21st. And here it gives you a visual representation of your cash invested and your position value. Now, the other thing you have to continuously track here is your rewards. You put the date here when you collect your rewards, how many tokens you collected, how much money you made there, type in the fees you paid, dollar amount, and it calculates the rest. And this total breakdown generates information from that table. I will leave a link under the description of this video for the part one of this video that shows you how to customize this. And we'll go over this towards the end of the video. And that is the total breakdown. You need to make a separate tab for each of your positions. This is uh, power notes. I just made up these figures. These are not my actual positions. And once you have multiple tabs there, then you go to your totals page. This is all automated and it gives you the same total breakdown as your individual positions, but for your complete node portfolio. This is super handy, and it even gives you the total return on your investment date of all your nodes. 
it gives you visual representations here of your portfolio percentage gains and the breakdown of your portfolio and this is generating information from your tabs this is all automated so let's just delete this here and in order for this to generate i have formulas in these cells so you don't have to individually put anything in these cells all you have to do is put the symbol here and it needs to match the same name as the name of your tab it's pulling information from the tabs so your first tab here is named thor so you type in here thor exactly the same way that the tab is named and it will pull the information from that tab and my second position here is power so you type it in here power and it pulls all the information there this chart is being generated by this information so there's no maintenance for this chart but these two charts are being generated by the information of these 15 rows here. If you need to add more rows, just select, just select here, scoot this down, get the charts and scoot it down. And then you can get this row here and make more rows there. Now, once you do this, you do have to come in here and change the formulas. If you click here, you will see that this is being generated by these numbers. So you do have to come in here and configure these. You're gonna have to come in here and see where the information is being generated. So let's hit escape there. Let's undo. Let's put everything back up. And this chart and this chart is being generated by this information. If you do make this table longer, then you go to edit chart and you have to configure the date range here. You have to configure the X axis here, the range. You go here and you select the range right now. It's pulling information from B4 and B18, which is here B4 and B18. And you have to change the range. Now, if you do add more rows and this is too much work for you, you don't want to do maintenance on these charts. You can just delete them, select here and press delete chart. Same with this one. You do have to maintain these two according to the rows here. This one is being generated by this one. No maintenance there. The only thing you do have to remember is if you add more rows, you have to make sure that these cells are updated. You have to check where it's pulling information. Click on the cell. You click on the formula and it shows you where it's pulling the information from. And that is what's necessary to track your note portfolio. It gives you all the information you need at your convenience. Now let's go to the quick calculations table here. This is a universal table. You have to manually input everything here. Nothing is automated here. And you put the current price of Thor here. Let's just say you want to look at a Hemdow node right now. It takes 1.25 tokens and you get rewarded 0 0.008 per node there. And this is the cost per node. It generates it for you according to this cost. I already went over this in my previous video. I will make sure to leave a link under the description of this video for that. And now let's go to the right here. Let's zoom in here. This is a new feature that I added. Now this is what you see at the bottom of each individual position. It's the same thing. I just conveniently put it there. You also have it here in the quick calculation. Let's just say you want to forecast how many days it's going to take for you to get an additional node of the same node you have or a different node. So let's just say you bought three Hemdow nodes. You type in here Hemdow. The number of notes you bought, let's just say we bought three, you type in three, you put the purchase date here, 224, uh, 2022. And here you put the node rewards per day. You don't multiply this by three. You just put the individual number from the rewards from Thor and the calculator will do the rest. Now let's just say your goal is to get one Freya based on your three Hemdels. Then you type in here Freya. And you type in here how many tokens it takes per node for one Freya. The current rate right now is 6.25 tokens 
to make one Freya. And with this information, it'll calculate how many days it will take you to make one new node of Freya based on three Hamdel nodes. It will take 260.41 days. And your payoff date for that new Freya is November 11th, 2022. Super handy to do some quick calculations without looking at the table. Now, let's just say you just want another Hamdel. You don't want a Freya. So you type in here Hamdel. And one Hamdel right now costs 1.25 tokens. And it will give you uh, days for a new node, 52 days. The payoff day for a new node is April 17th, 2022. It's a little handy calculation there. And this doesn't include taxes or maintenance fees. So this is just a raw calculation. And here you can calculate the taxes before you close a position to see how much you will actually make there. You type in the blues. Let's just say we have one node of Hemdell. We're holding it for 12 days. We're earning 0 0.008 rewards per day dollar amount. And total rewards here, $3.97 cents there let's just say you you paid uh one dollar in claim tax there and it tells you your actual rewards per node and total rewards polls fees and tax this is being generated by the current price here of this node so make sure that you put the right information here to generate the right price here to calculate your taxes. Now for the individual positions, the token price is being generated by the price up here. So that's how this one is working. The individual position is working based off of the price up here and the quick calculations uh, price here is working based off of the price you have here. And that is how you use this calculator. It's like a Swiss army knife. It has a quick calculations forecaster. So you can uh, size up any node project before you buy into it here with some quick calculations. You have a master sheet for all your new positions. You have the totals page that generates all the information of all your pages. All you have to do is put the name of your tab here and then we'll pull all the information. And here are some examples. You can delete these once you get the calculator. And as always, if you ever get lost and you don't know how to use it, you can always come here to the YouTube reference video that will bring you back to this video and the previous video for this two part for this two part calculator. So if you would like a copy of the calculator, you need to come to Patreon and come here and join the calculators tab. Once you join, you'll have access to this calculator and every other calculator. Once you come here, you open the file. You go to file, make a copy and make a copy for yourself and you'll be on your way. I made this calculator by special request. I had a lot of people asking me for a node portfolio tracker. This one took me several days to put together. It had a lot of complicated formulas, but I managed to figure it out. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And that's going to do it for this one. Thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.